hello everyone how are you all doing i'm hoping that you all are having a fantastic time i am also having a wonderful morning i just woke up and saw pictures and videos of prince harry and duchess megan and they look amazing they look hot and gorgeous I really hope that I'm not too late in showing you these pictures and I really hope that it's going to bring a smile upon your face. So let me uh, first introduce you to these. So Jamaica Live posted this on X saying that Prince Harry and his wife Meghan in Jamaica, the Sussexes are in Jamaica for the Bob Marley One Love movie premiere. They are with Paramount Film Chief Brian Robbins and his wife Tracy James. The Sussexes are among a number, a number of dignitaries and celebrities who attended the selective viewing of Bob Marley. The Mali family, including Ziggy, the eldest son of Bob Mali, attended and hugged Harry. The Prime Minister of Jamaica and his wife, among others, were also in attendance. Bob Mali, One Love is a paramount film celebrating the life and music of iconic Bob Mali, emphasizing his message of love and unity. The preview includes intense moments such as an assassination attempt in 1976, Bob Marley's life. The film also covers his rise to fame and his historic performance at the One Love Peace Concert in 1978 aimed at bridging political divides in Jamaica. It's in theaters on February 14th fitting. I can't tell you how happy I am seeing Harry and Meghan in Jamaica. These people have always shown their love for Prince Harry and Meghan. You know, this is not the first time they're showing how much they care and love for Prince Harry and how much also Harry and Meghan care about the people of Jamaica. The people of Jamaica have expressed over and over again how they'd rather have Prince Harry and Meghan over the other royals. So here is a video of Prince Harry and Meghan posing with Prime Minister of Jamaica Andrew Holmes at the premiere of Bob Marley One Love. What can you say about this? Don't they look amazing? Don't they look fabulous? They look happy. And even the Prime Minister of Jamaica and his and his wife both look so lovely. You can just tell that they are very comfortable being in each other's company. Prince Harry and Meghan fled all the way to Jamaica, but the British media didn't know about it. I just love how they're moving in stealth mode and no one has information of their next moves. You know, there's a very huge difference between the last time that the other royals were in Jamaica and now when Prince Harry and his wife have visited Jamaica. When William was in Jamaica the last time, he was fired on live television by the Jamaican Prime Minister. And now the same Prime Minister is smiling and taking photos with Harry and Meghan as if he is very honored to. And what was more humiliating is that William and Kate weren't offered seats at the residences. You can see that business was done while standing. And someone was on X saying that out here laughing and chatting with the man who fired your brother on live television. Henry, you are a menace. Honestly, I don't know how Prince William will, will react to this when he wakes up. But I'm sure that he'll be filled with rage. Rage that he can't believe that the same man who fired him is now happily chatting with Prince Harry and looking like he's very honored to be in Prince Harry and Meghan's presence. How dare he when he could not even offer me a seat and he just fired me on national television. But you know what? It's just what it is. When you are a genuine person, people can recognize that and people will appreciate you just like, uh, just like the way that Jamaica is appreciating Harry and Meghan. Someone also said that breaking news, the meltdown will begin. Look at them unbothered out having fun at the Bob Marley premium. Let the meltdown begin. Enjoy your life. Have fun. I know that there's going to be a huge, huge meltdown because the UK media have been spreading 
crazy narratives about Harry and Meghan and really they're going to be mad that they didn't even know Harry and Meghan were going to Jamaica. And then another very funny comment is someone saying that the British media telling Prince Harry get on a plane and come back to the UK but Prince Harry is like bet I'm all the way to Jamaica. I'm just going to Jamaica. And then have you seen the way that Meghan was holding her husband? Oh my god, I just can't with this too. I keep falling in love with them each and every time that they appear. And I just loved Meghan's dress so much. It looks so beautiful. And also Meghan never disappoints. We didn't see her at the Living Legends of Aviation Awards, but probably in her head she was just like, just wait, be patient, you'll see me soon enough. And then she makes this legendary appearance. And her dress, oh my god, it's just so so beautiful. It fits Megan perfectly. And one person on X also said that them, you can't represent the Commonwealth if you're not a working royal. And then Jamaica, watch this. Watch what we are doing because we are moving on to the Ginger family. And then one other person was like, Harry and Meghan are in Jamaica and I'm headed there in a couple days. Pray for me that they are still on the island when I arrive. Honestly, Priyanka, we are praying for you and I hope that you get to see Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan on your visit to Jamaica. And then one other person was like, Meghan with the French tips showing how to behave in a diplomatic setting the prime minister of jamaica said we're moving on to the ginger family that's right the prime minister of jamaica was telling this to prince william we are moving on but exactly where were they moving on to to the ginger family and some other person was like as someone said no duty no cry when they remove you from the table you create your own Prince Harry and Meghan with Jamaica's Prime Minister at the One Love premiere in Jamaica. I somehow knew that the Commonwealth countries were not just going to forget Prince Harry and Meghan because they were no longer working royals. I've heard so many times, especially from Jamaicans, how much they love and adore Meghan, how much they don't like the royal family because of their treatment of Meghan, the only biracial woman to be married into that family. And you can see from the way that they welcome Harry and Meghan into that country that there's so much love for, for Harry, there's so much respect and admiration for both Harry and Meghan. And here is even a video of Prince Harry hugging Ziggy Mali in Jamaica, that is the eldest son of Bob Mali. This is so sweet, right? And then another very interesting tweet is someone saying that the British stroke UK press when they go online to see that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in Jamaica for the Bob Marley One Love movie premiere and they had no idea. Of course, they're going to be very, very, and Megan even cooperate with these people and tell them where they're going to. It's never going to happen. They're not good people and they've shown that over and over again. And one person was also like, Megan saw some of you all talking slick and said, damn, here I come then very true i know some of you all had missed megan we haven't seen her since the beginning of the year and she could not let january just pass by without giving us a test of royalty and she looks like she's floating on air walking in that beautiful dress right she looks really stunning i can't stop emphasizing on how beautiful megan's dress is and then another post, I swear there's nothing more sensual than Harry refraining himself from touching his wife while looking at her with his hands in the pockets. Truly, you can see that Prince Harry was totally refraining himself from touching his beautiful wife. And it's not the first time that Prince Harry has done this. He's just like, don't let me start. 
and then another beautiful picture from the friends inside the theater someone took a picture of megan captioned it she's sitting down from us and megan looks really really happy and then another interesting tweet now this is how you show up in the caribbean and interact with people not ride around in colonizer jeep while decked out in fake freaking medals and not forgetting greeting people through uh, fences this is exactly how you do it and you can see that prince harry is not faking any of it it's all so real he just loves the people of jamaica and they love him and megan too and someone was also like princess megan is gliding so effortlessly and elegantly i know right like she just did this perfectly she looks amazing seeing the length of the dress from this angle just gives you the full effect and do you remember when Biniman said that the queen and prince william could not keep jamaica in the commonwealth but harry could he said that jamaicans don't want the queen if it's harry jamaican people will react different people will go meet harry but william we don't want to see him that and as you can see the people of jamaica truly meant what they said they would welcome prince harry with open arms because he has shown them love and he has shown them that he cares but for uh prince william and the rest of the royals they don't want them there so i just love that prince harry and duchess megan were having a wonderful time in jamaica what are your thoughts concerning this did you find them a uh, gorgeous did you find them looking so good what are your thoughts concerning this kindly let me know on the comment section and i'll see you all on the next podcast have a wonderful time goodbye